Previously on OMG, we bought a house. It has been raining nonstop. We now have a mud pit. Please stop raining. Let's go fishing. Joey! Watch where you're dangling that thing. Joey, can you pivot? I'm on the edge of the lake. I know, we're on this raft together. Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we bought a house. Kate, door. Coming! <gasps> oh, hello! Hello! Well, hello! Welcome back. Yeah, we are really excited to have you. Excited. We're really excited to have you. He's making fun of me, but it's no. okay because I love you. It is our first OMG episode since we hit a million subscribers. Whoa! So. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Thank so you guys. Hard. Thank you so much. If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed, do it. I know you guys are wondering who's gonna be the winner. We are working on that of the $10,000 room transformation. And we have a sponsor today, Dosami, which is a really cool device and app that makes your home smarter. Smarter and safer. So we're gonna show you that today too. You guys, it was so much fun getting to a million. I can't wait till we get till 10 million. Joey has high goals, but it's good. It keeps us going. And you know what else is high? Is the water level in our yard because our yard is now flooded again. I know, I'm so sorry, you guys. I mean, it's great. We're getting a lot of rain, but we're just, it's a little much now. It's a little much. Can you just dial it back a little bit? It's kind of like, like a stay inside day. We cannot do so many of the things that we need to do in order to finish the house, in order to show you guys the full, full thing. We can't do the stucco. We can't work on the garage. We can't do the landscaping, but we can do some small, big things. Uh, we're doing the door. I know, front door. Front door, guys. You guys know we have that really just well, sad You know, let's not talk about it. Yeah, let's, just let's do, do it. it. Let's get adorable. Oh, that's adorable. Mm. Pull your back wheel off. Well, I don't want to rumple the rug up. What? Scoot your corner back a little bit. Okay, so we have lived here for three years. You guys saw us pull together our living room. Three years ago when we first moved in, we put a rug down. We went away on vacation and we had a terrible cat sitter. She didn't scoop their litter and so they were like, excuse me, I will use this rug for my litter box. So we replaced it and I got a temporary one that I just didn't love and I've been kind of on the hunt for a new rug to really pull the living room together. I love your outfit. Do you? Is that your rainy day outfit? It's my rainy day sheet. Kind of looks like you're in the marching band. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the leader person. Sure. What is that person in the front? The, the marshal? The, the no. conductor? That's on a train. Winston, yeah. there is a rug coming your way. He wants to be a part of the rug cuddle. Something tells me you'll probably let me just roll this right over you. We cuddle with you every Come night. On. We cuddle with you on the couch, in the bed. Wow. <gasps> oh, I love it. Wow. I love the patchwork vibe. We're getting to do a rug cuddle in our own place. The rug looks great. It just like sort of makes the whole room that much brighter. You're wearing the dosami. Oh yeah. The dosami is this amazing smart device that was like developed by genius scientists. Now it is a consumer device that you can use in your smart home or while you're traveling that basically keeps track of the radiation levels that you're exposed to. Obviously, it is very detrimental to your health and it's really scary. It's something I wanna be aware of, especially as we settle into this house and make it our home. I really wanna know we're in a safe environment. Have you been scanning our environment? I walked around the entire neighborhood with it. You did? Yeah, I also when? wore it, huh? When did you do that? This morning. You didn't invite me on your walk? Green, low dose rate. No, I have it on my app. Joey, red what? is severe dose rate, get to a safe area. We're not red, we're green, look. 0 .008, That's great. Half of the US population lives in a nuclear shadow, which is mind boggling. You don't see it, you don't smell it, you don't taste it, you don't hear it. So you don't really know when you're being exposed to it. Dose rates between 0.005 and 0.030 and room per hour is normal. Variation can be due to factors such as altitude, naturally occurring radioactive materials and surroundings. I mean, how Four great cats. Beep, 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 How beep, great of parents beep, 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 beep. are we? Yes, let's just lay here and compliment our parenting skills because we have 
a cat. <laughs> I love the fact that our house is so smart. We have so many different gadgets in this home that really just keep us informed from the air we breathe to the radiation that we're surrounded by. All right, well, let's get the rest of this room pulled together. Yep, coffee table. Okay, get it. Uh, get the chairs. Yeah. Should we um, use this furry right. blanket okay. on the couch? We have this really fuzzy throw blanket and it's so cozy. The cats just love it so much. I think they think that it's like their mom. I got these velvet ones, just like nice, simple velvet. Yeah, I like it. We have it. the velvet curtains. Which one's the front? It's the same. This one, it's kind of almost like a mud cloth, you know? African mud cloth. It's what is a mud style. cloth? Yes, African mud cloth. I know it's called African mud cloth for a reason. It's made with fermented mud, okay? I don't know, I'm making that up. <laughs> okay, we have so many beautiful tones playing together in the rug. I thought it would be nice to refresh our throw pillows. So these were the old pillows that we got custom made three years ago. Remember I just gave these to the upholstery guy and you just made them? Yeah. Okay. Can I not be in this activity? Yeah, go take a nap with Winston. Thank I'll figure out the pillows. Kate wants to do stuff with pillows. I might just hang out on the carpet with Winston. This is nice. Yeah, it looks great. Is this like too many pillows though? No. Now it's time to give Winston a canopy. We made our coffee table, which we made out of an antique mirror, and we put hairpin legs on the bottom of the mirror, and it basically created this giant tray mirrored coffee table, which we just adore. We need to restuff these, because they are oh, yeah. like pancakes. Remember how fluffy they were when we got them, and then we park our butts on these every night? You can tell which one's yours and which one's mine. Mine's a little bit poofier. So I wanna know if we have radiation around us. I wanna know if, if our house has radiation. So we wanna try putting the dosami in the garage. I cannot believe this yard is flooded again. This is the worst. Mother Nature, I love you. You're beautiful, you're very powerful, but can you please stop crying all over our backyard? It never rains in LA, and for some reason, it has just decided to dump it all on us before we have been able to finish the process of our side yard. We're gonna plug it in in there. Oh my God. Ugh. Are you coming? No, no, no. Okay. No. No, no, it's a deluge. No, mm-mm. Good luck. It took her more effort to bail at that point than to just take an extra two steps and get in the garage with me. Whatever. Okay, we're good. The garage is perfect. The dose of me is telling me we are safe, we are good. The house is good. I am ready for this rain to stop. <sighs> I really do need some rain boots. This past weekend, Joey and I went to a door place. He found it, it's like this big warehouse. We drove like an hour to get there. We are going to get a door. <laughs> but it was totally worth it because there were just so many doors to choose from. Wow, this is what I'm talking about. You're not taking in any of the doors. Like, what about this beautiful door? This isn't terrible because it has the arch. I'm just not like the biggest fan of like scrolly scrolly. Ah, how cool would it be to have an arch door, you guys? You'd have to get on board with this. But this is the same no, I don't thing. like that. That is like, I'm in like a medieval prison. Come save me. I like it because it has like the rounded, but also some square. It's kind of like, Craftsman meets storybook. I think we found a door. So we didn't buy a door frame because the existing door frame that goes with our current front door is actually in pretty good shape. And so why spend the extra money on the frame? If it doesn't work, we can just pop that out and get a new one. <gasps> oh my God. Did you break it? No. That was way too loud. So I'm staining the raw wood door and I'm just using the same stain that we used on the fence and the gates and it's really easy just putting it on with a sponge and I think it's probably gonna need two coats to get a nice rich tone. Here goes nothing. I just love how natural this looks. It's not 
too dark, it's not too reddish, it's not too yellow, it's just like a really beautiful, rich brown. Now we just have to figure out how to install this. And we're just gonna measure it, make sure it matches the same height and width as our old door. We're gonna cut it down where it doesn't and get it in there. You got Do it? Do you have it? Do you have it? Do you gotta you, hold it straight. You think I should make more of these? What? I just love these hey. macros. They're so easy to make. What, are you I done? don't have them all screwed in yet. The door looks incredible, it fits perfectly. I can't believe we actually got it on there. And this is like a smarty lock. I wish we could get some aged brass knobs as our knobs, but Joey, of course, wants to do a smart lock. I love that we use the original hinges. I, I love mean, I that. love that we. We sanded these. Now these hinges are so cool. I feel like these may have been the original hinges from the 20s, I don't know, but they're these solid brass hinges and they were painted white and we just sanded them down to reveal the metal underneath and it has a really aged look to it and I just love it. I love that we didn't get a new door frame. Door frame. That was such a budget saver. I mean, we'll probably find out it like, I was just gonna Next fall. Next week's gonna fall, but. I love this window. Yeah, it's cool. People can see in now. Oh my gosh, it's a deluge. It's a what? A deluge. <laughs> you mean the rain? Yeah, that's a word. Oh, I thought you were talking about like what the Ask window is. Ask the smart hole. lock. Smart lock, what does a deluge mean? It's a touch lock. Oh my gosh, it is one of those peely things. Can yeah. I peel it off? Yeah, peel oh it. Oh my god, the most satisfying thing ever. Can it? Oh! Hi. Welcome home. This thing is so cool. You can enter in a code and whatever. It has one of those protective plastic things that come over like screens. And are they not the most satisfying things to peel off ever? It feels so good. Can you book me a massage, please? 3 p.m. tomorrow. Okay, it's not a one with audio. Door lock, don't listen. <laughs> I love our new front door so much. I am very It was perfect. Yeah, it is perfect. It is perfect. It Do was, you guys like it? Let I us like know. It. Yeah. No, I'm not seeing that. Let us know. <laughs> Maybe one of these days it will stop raining in LA. I know you guys want to see like big stuff. I we know. We want to do big stuff. We do want to do big stuff. Um, we like, we cannot. Our hands are tied behind our back with a river. Give us a thumbs up for just trucking along anyway. We're just being real. We're just, <laughs> We're just here doing real. what's real. And Kate's hat is just like awesome and her I feel like ah, this... that was definitely my boob. What a creeper. Don't try to get in my turtleneck and flip my boob and try to get in my turtleneck. You get off Just kidding. Anyways, uh... you can borrow it. My turtleneck. Oh you miss it. I think we need to go take a nice nap. Leave us a nice comment. Give us a nice thumbs up and just know that we love you and we will make sure to clue you in on all of the big and small things. Because it's fun. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. You're gonna take me to my bed? Can I keep my turtleneck on? Yeah. <laughs> deluge, you wanna know the definition for deluge? A flood myth or deluge is a narrative in which a great flood usually sent by a deity or deities destroys civilization or your dreams for new stucco on your house.